Hey, hey, everybody, I'm Zombie Johnny. Today we're going to be taking a look at another famous video game series. Another video game series that is very loved by myself. This is Pokemon Adventures. Pokemon Adventures was written by Hidenori Kusaka, illustrated by the one simply known as Mato, and published by Viz Media. Pokemon Adventures follows the story of a young trainer named Red. Red is the epitome of a Pokemon trainer. Red has been the epitome of a Pokemon trainer since day one. Really, Red is THE Pokemon trainer, and technically, Red is you! Red is every boy and girl that has ever graced the plains of Kanto. The story follows Red on his journey through the Kanto region, doing as any Pokemon trainer would do, catching Pokemon, befriending them, growing stronger together through their adventures, earning badges at the Pokemon gyms, and striving to become the greatest Pokemon trainer that ever lived by catching them all. Of course, Red has his fair share of trials and tribulations. Red does not go without meeting rivals along the way. Blue, who is the main rival Red is pitted up against from the very beginning. Blue is given a Pokedex at the exact same moment Red is given one from Professor Oak. From then on, Red and Blue are in a head-to-head -head race to become the greatest Pokemon trainer that ever lived. And finally, Green, who Red meets after some time. But Green is a clever, scheming trickster who's only in it for her personal gain. And what Pokemon story would be complete without its epic Pokemon battles, fighting Team Rocket, clashing with trainers, and battling gym leaders? Red, Blue, and Green embark on a journey starting at Palatown along the path all the way to the top of the Pokemon League. When Volume 4 begins, Red has gone missing and has been missing for some time. Then his Pikachu, battered and beaten, stumbles through Professor Oak's door. Moments later, a young boy on a Doduo comes through the door and miraculously heals Pikachu in an instant. The young boy states that he is following Pikachu back to Red, but Professor Oak doesn't trust in his skills and then challenges him to a battle. The young boy then proves himself worthy of taking Pikachu to find Red. And this is where the advent- <clears throat> Excuse me. The second adventure begins. The second adventure is following the story of a young boy named Yellow. The adventures of Yellow are a more stable story compared to the fractured story of Red. Where the story of Red jumps from chapter to chapter, the story of Yellow is a complete quest, flowing from start to finish in one concise story. Yellow's story is actually really great. I found myself chuckling at some of the references from the game. In comparison to the game, the Pokemon battles and their general movement is illustrated so well. It really brings such an exciting feel to these classic Pokémon. Pokémon Adventures is shockingly violent. Pokémon getting split in half and guts pouring out, Pokémon getting impaled, people getting injured. There's even a point where one Pokémon gets a piece of glass thrown into its eye. It's kind of over the top, but in a good way. It's nice seeing something that is very child-friendly, but is also a little edgy. The artist behind giving Pokemon Adventures that grit is none other than Mato. Mato is an artist shrouded in mystery. She apparently has two other manga that she works on or has worked on, but they haven't been released in North America, and once again, they are also shrouded in mystery. Any information on Mato is pretty much the same brief information over and over again. I did find a link to a very old website that was unfortunately only in Japanese and hasn't been used in quite some time. There are some sketches and original pieces in the same thread and I'll post the link to the website in the description below. Mato has some quotes in the back of a couple of volumes and she mentions having trouble finishing deadlines. But that's really all the information I could get on her. Mato's art style is very stylized and cutesy at times, but very fitting of Pokémon and almost reminiscent of Ken Sugimori's artwork. How can I do a Pokémon manga and not mention Ken Sugimori's work as the godfather of Pokémon art direction and character design? What can I really say though? Sugimori created the look and design of Pokémon, hands down some of the most recognizable characters of our time. Even if you see the two yellow and black ears, or see the little lightning bolt shaped tail, you instantly know that it's Pikachu. Or the simple design of red, black, and white, you instantly know it's a Pokeball. Sugimori created something that is so ingrained into our culture that I feel it's comparable to some of the world's largest brands. 
Pokemon is known the world over, and it's all due to Ken Sugimori and his team of artists. Sorry for that little sidebar on Ken Sugimori, I couldn't pass it up. Now, back to Mato. She worked on the manga up until Volume 9, and then she became ill, rendering her drawing hand weak so she was unable to work on the manga any further. But in this review, we are only looking at the first seven volumes, which covers the Red, Blue, Green, or the Indigo League version of the story. After Volume 9, Satoshi Yamamoto took over from Mato, and he has been the artist of the manga since 2001. It's interesting to see the author's notes in the back of the volumes. Hidenori Kusaka mentions the release of the gold and silver versions in Japan, and him being very excited for it. Mato mentions the anniversary of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, and they had released special edition orange Game Boys for that as well. I grew up with these games, and that's neat to have a trip down nostalgia lane when thinking about the first time I got my hands on Pokemon. I could truly go on about Pokemon for hours. If you would like to talk about any Pokemon related things, please comment below, I would love to discuss. But alas, I must end this here and finish the review. Overall, Pokemon Adventures Red and Blue is a very enjoyable series. I'm very tempted to pick up the next series on Gold and Silver. Total page count, 1504. Total volumes, 7. Total score, 4 out of 5. Only because I know that Pokemon isn't for everyone, but if you are a Pokemon fan, even in the slightest, this series is worth picking up. Thank you so much for watching once again. Pokemon has been a big part of my life for a very long time. And thankfully, it will be a part of my life for years to come because both of my kids are very into Pokemon. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you're staying happy, healthy, and safe. We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.